everybody. So today I wanted to take a look at Linux Barbecue, which is a Debian-based distribution from the uh, SID branch. And this uh, distribution is geared towards people that um, have been distro hopping for a while and want to uh, roast their own distribution. So in that regard, there are a ton of cool Linux Barbecue accessories that do a um, ton of hacker-esque uh, um, terminal commands. So you can go and create your own um, uh, distribution based off of how your system is currently set up. Now one of the uh, features that you'll uh, notice right off the bat is this thing called uh, Redshift which is a really cool feature that's uh, supposed to solve the problem of having eye strain when uh, surfing the web using your computer late at night. So let's pull up the Redshift website really quick. And, um, hmm. I think this is it right here. Yes, so what it does is it will adjust the uh, color of the computer based on the time of day. And as far as I know, it's still not possible to customize it on the user end. What it does is it uses your system clock. And, um, makes assumptions based off of your system clock what kind of, what time of day it is. So you could turn it off and your system will have a more of a cool look in the evening, um, uh, the standard look. But as the day goes on, um, when it's turned on, the screen will turn um, red. So it's actually really interesting. And um, I'm not sure if, if uh, it helps with eye strain. I haven't used it long enough, but it seems to be something you get used to. You don't really notice the uh, the red tint until you start looking um, to the left or to the right of your screen. Now let's take a look at some of the other applications that come pre-installed. I'm not going to name all these out, but uh, if you guys uh, take the time to just look through the menu, you can see there's a ton of uh, uh, programs available. I'm always amazed when GIMP isn't pre-installed, which it isn't with this one. Now they uh, have their own um, their own flat themes, but of course they haven't um, customized every single icon to fit their uh, their gray on gray theme. Although it is it is really cool. You got kind of this retro feel when using their desktop environment. So. All the icons have this really neat um, look and feel to it. Very flat, very minimalistic. The default uh, des desktop wallpaper is this uh, red light, which is kind of cool. Of course, whoops, go in here and change your uh, desktop wallpaper with uh, some of the others that they offer, which I'm sure some of these are um, Obviously, a lot of these are not uh, based for this distro. But that does that beep a second ago leads me to one of my complaints about uh, Debian-based distros. Um, you know, there's really no point in uh, creating a uh, distribution where it's pre-set up, easy to install, like this one is. And then they don't even take the time to mute your PC speaker. I don't know about you, but it bugs the crap out of me when I have to go and um, I, ne I never memorize this stuff, so I end up just like checking through a bunch of forums, looking for the same info again and again and again. So anyway, uh, this is a really cool distribution to check out, and um, it's totally worth. Uh... Oh wow, cool! So there's terminal-based applications, a word processor. So it's like a, it's like I'm in Yuki Hauser or something. He's 
using some old. This is crazy. So you could do some really retro stuff in this thing. This is neat. So in that regard, low resources. So if you're a uh, if you're using an older system, you could uh, stick yourself to these low resources games. Huh. Wonder if they have a uh, Pac-Man War Games. How much do you want to bet that that's going to be Pac-Man? Oh my God! You got to be kidding me. So this is obviously a joke based on um, the uh, movie War Games. <laughs> Okay, seriously. Let me play a game. Why, 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 are you not, why are you not letting me play this game? Maybe it's just a joke, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's so cool. So you got this old uh, version of uh, a terminal-based uh, game. Well, that's cool. So if you're looking for a distribution that's great for... Um, you know, they're, they're, they were saying that this is a student-based distribution, but I think that they just recently redesigned their website, and now it looks like they might be re-gearing towards uh, just the uh, common user who has some experience in uh, Linux, because this was considered a student distribution at some point. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh, no, here we are. We do have some education uh, tools pre-installed. So that's uh, Linux Barbecue. And I have to say, uh, uh, this is a really cool, full-featured uh, Debian-based distribution rolling release. You install it once. You don't touch it again. I'm running it native here on my laptop on my, uh, my extra part testing partition. So, uh, yeah, check it out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Find my terminal to quit this. Alright, take it easy everyone. Bye.